Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this month's feature release video where we will cover all of the new features that we released during September 2025. And I think you're going to love some of them because these are some of the hottest requested features that we've ever had. So let's just jump right into it. Now, on the top of your reports, you're going to see a lifetime value section. That's what this is right here. And what this is going to do is show you how many leads you've gotten from your Google business profile since the day that you signed up for Page. And so what it's doing is pulling all the information from Google to tell you exactly how many calls you got, uh, direction requests or website clicks since the day you signed up. And then it's going to apply a customer lifetime value. So that's going to be for each one of these customers, how much money are they likely to spend with you for as long as they remain a customer of yours. If we have a look at the right side of the report now, you're going to notice a top competitor section. So this is another really highly requested feature that we added, which will find who your top competitor is in your city for your most important keyword. And then it will figure out to the best of its ability, how many leads they're likely getting from Google Maps or Google Search, uh, and then giving a value to that number of leads so that you can get an idea for how much more money your business can make if you were to take over that top spot on Google. You can completely customize all this information by going to Businesses, then clicking on View Details and Settings. And you'll see here, there is the option to pick the top competitor, and this uses the Google search. So you can go ahead here and just type in the name of the business that you would rather show up in that area, and it'll override it in the reports uh, that were already generated and the new ones. And then here you can put in the lifetime value. So if you think that your customer lifetime value is different than what Paige gave it, you can just go ahead and put it in here. And keep in mind, this is not the value per transaction. It's for the lifetime that they're a customer with you. Heading back over to the reports tab, there's a new feature that I think you're going to love. And if you scroll down to the reports, you'll now see under the usual heat maps, you'll now see this section here, AI visibility. And under here, we're going to show you how you were ranking on AI when you signed up compared to in your latest report. And so if you're not ranking at all, you'll see a grayed out uh, version of the uh, AI platform here. So in this case, we're not ranking in ChatGPT. Uh, whereas over here, you can see this keyword is now ranking number 20 on ChatGPT. And this is just the start of this feature. We're going to be adding Gemini, Perplexity, all the major um, AI platforms so that you can know how you're ranking for each of your keywords in AI results on top of Google Search and Google Maps. Um, and so if you don't see the green border around it and a number, that means that you're not yet ranking in that AI. Uh, and we're also doing some logic because nobody goes to AI and puts in a keyword like burger delivery. They're going to say something like who delivers burgers in Chicago. And so we're doing some logic to figure out the right way to restructure your keywords for AI and then giving you the result of where your business showed up in that ranking. So keep your eyes out uh, for this section because it's going to be changing a lot over the next couple of weeks, adding more and more AI search platforms to it. And in case you're wondering, yes, we're working on features that'll also help you show up higher on AI search results. Okay, moving right along, I want to show you an update that we made to the train page feature, which is a huge improvement from the previous version. So if we go over to the business and say train page, you'll notice that this pop-up looks very different than the old one. Instead of the drop down, you can now easily see all the things that you can optimize here and change all of them uh, very easily. Um, but something that's really helpful is that a lot of times we got requests from people saying, hey, Paige isn't following my training notes. And the reason for that is because they weren't structured in the way that Paige needed it. And so what you can now do is put in what you want them to do. So I'm going to say half of the time talk about burgers and the other half talk about fries. What you can now do, if you're not sure about your, your trending note, you can say next, and Paige is going to go and rewrite it in a way that's better going to work with the AI to give you the outcome that you want. And so here, if you want, you can go back to the original or you can keep this, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. And then as always, you can have it regenerate all the content. I'm going to say no, um, because I want to show you something else that we've added. All right. You can also now see all of the website training data that we have on this business. So if I switch over to uh, to our business, you can see that it 
it read the website and got a really good understanding of your business. But if Paige isn't actually writing in the style that you want or using information that you want to share, what you can do is edit this uh, to include that information. So let's say that we wanted people to call us if they have questions, we could put in our phone number, or maybe we offered a new service. What we could do is um, say, you know, merchant also offers NFC cards to make it easier to get reviews. And so now Paige is going to use that information as it creates content to be more specific to the business. And let's say that it just didn't do a great job reading your website at all. You can go here and say you read again and send Paige out to your website to, to reread your website. So this is helpful if you recently redid your website or made changes um, just so Paige can go and get a, a full read. So I would check that out and add as much information about your business as you possibly can under train page and website data so that all the content can be hyper specific to your business. Moving right along, you probably now notice this personality button. We added the ability for you to customize Paige's personality, meaning how Paige generates content. And so there are four levers that you can pull, which will allow you to really customize uh, Paige in up to 10,000 different combinations. Um, but you can control things like the writing style. So do you want Paige to talk more organically versus jamming keywords and everything? Do you want Paige to talk at a fifth grade level or like a PhD? Do you want Paige to talk casually or fancy? So um, this one came out of the need from a lot of like med spas where they really talk to their clients um, with, you know, almost like a concierge. And so you can set it to fancy and then humor. You might want it to be a little more on the light side or you might want it to stay serious. So by default, if you don't change these, um, nothing's going to, to, to change. Pages will keep writing in the style that you already have. But if you do change these, then it'll, it'll slightly change the way that page creates content. Okay, the last thing that I want to show you here is now the ability to import training notes. So for those of you who are onboarding many businesses and you have to uh, copy and paste training notes from business to business, well, you can now go over here and say, um, uh, select the business you want to import from, and then you just select the different training notes from that business that you want to bring in to this business. And it'll give you a preview of them. And then you just go ahead and say import and it'll bring in all the training notes from one business to the other so that you don't need to go and copy and paste them anymore. The next feature that we added is over on the automations tab. If you click on review management, you'll now notice there is an ignore button. So this ignore button for each of the review types allows you to tell Paige, hey, completely ignore this kind of review. We're going to handle it on our own. You, you would only use this if like you have a really good process in place to reply to reviews, um, because unless you have that, you're not going to know about new reviews when they come in. Um, so I would always suggest that you leave it with AI approval required. That way you can still handle it yourself and be made aware and be given a good AI response that you can use yourself. But if you just truly don't want to get the notification for certain stars, just say ignore. Or if you don't want page to reply to any of, any of your reviews, just toggle off review automation altogether. And the last feature that I wanted to show you is that we made page a whole lot more mobile friendly. So now if you are on your cell phone, uh, you can definitely have an easier time navigating around the platform. So you can see the menu, you know, now collapses to make room for a lot more stuff. And you can now uh, a lot more easily go ahead and manage everything that you would need to do uh, for your business from your phone. And we still have some improvement to go, but it's now much more usable than it was. So I'm really excited about all these new features and they are just the beginning of a lot of really cool stuff that we have coming in the next 30, 60, and 90 days. And if there's a feature that you really want that you didn't see in this video, then please head over to merchant.com forward slash roadmap. We'll put the link in the video description and request the feature or vote on the existing ones so that we know that you care about them so that we can speed them up. Thank you so much for using Page. And as always, if you have any questions, please use the live chat inside Page. Thank you.